30. They're going mid-range, and it is Freeze Mage. This is one of the toughest matchups for Paladins to deal with because they don't have instant damage. The strength relies in strong, valuable creatures that can test the board very well. But what if there is no board? Here's the other thing, too. The extent of their burst is really Blessing of Kings. Consecration. Yeah. The old turn eight, six damage burst. Yeah, I mean, you're looking between four and eight points of burst damage in addition to what's on the board. And Freeze Mage thrives on the ability to continuously keep the board under control and draw tons of cards. Oregon doesn't, I'm sorry, Paladin doesn't interact in this matchup very well. You know, outside of trying to heal beyond range of damage, that's really their major tool. Washington State's just looking to extend the game as long as possible until they put together so much damage that it doesn't matter if you heal. Yeah. Washington State has been great about being flexible with their decks. You know, picking three decks that they can change things up. Paladin, Mage, Warlock. Paladin's just overall strong right now, and Mage and Warlock are just such versatile decks. You can throw out Zoo, you can throw out Handlock. They have lots of different matchups. Zombie Chow's not a very good start versus... Uh... Versus Freeze Mage. And Sentient Shield Master's not a very good card against Freeze Mage. Neither is Sludge Belcher. That's a Blizzard. That's a Flame Strike. Doomsayer. Mad Scientist. Dr. Boom is a good card, however. Yes, it is. If you can put the Freeze Mage low enough, oftentimes you can shut off Flame Strike in Blizzard because if they're sitting at like that, that 1 to 7 range, the Boom Bots have the threat of killing them. And the Ice Block cannot trigger on your own turn. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you want to have Doctor, you want to have Doctor Boom or Lothab on a very key turn that pressures the ice block. That's really what Oregon's looking for in this matchup. But that's a long way away, and that's a very difficult setup. Okay. Already, the ice barrier earlier, early. That's that's what you want. Plenty of time for Washington State's second mad scientist. I think at this point, it's going to be worth a little bit more to start pinging. Yeah, to start getting the hero power rolling. You just cut off so much long-term damage with it. And maybe you buy yourself an extra turn where you don't have to use Blizzard or Doomsayer quite as early. You know, they don't get a ton of value out of the Zombie Chow, but the Zombie Chow kind of did reverse work in this spot. It, it almost did nothing. Yeah. So what if Oregon put, like, some extra heals in their deck? It's definitely possible. Like double anti kill bot or double lay on hands, something along those lines. I think it's definitely possible. They're trying to combat that. This is the eye for an eye and illuminator. <laughs> We're going to the ends of the earth for this one. I'd be that guy. Yeah, but Washington State, they're totally fine. They're 35 right now, and they don't have to do anything. Yeah. The reason ever becomes popular in the meta, I think eye for an eye is the way to go. <laughs> Deal you six. Like, how do, they usually are low health when they're trying to kill you. <laughs> they tech this deck. I think they might have. This like, is a this is a straight up Oregon deck tech. Well, now they know it's Ice Block that's sitting on board. Well, it's likely Ice Block. I mean, occasionally you find a counter spell slipped into this build. Yeah, it's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare. Once again, Washington State, you know, they have the freedom to just take their time. Yeah, making sure they count their cards with the Arcane Intellect, though, that's a pretty big deal. I've been debating the Doomsayer this turn. I, th I think the loot order is just strictly better. You know, again, you haven't had to do anything for quite a while. I guess just wait till you can Blizzard and Doomsayer in one turn. Oh, the Zombie Chow is a dead draw at the moment. It's interesting that they put double zombie chow. I mean, I guess this they were expecting mech mage again or temple mage. Yeah, exactly. It could just as easily be those two. So yeah, you know, the zombie chows just help you fight for the board early on, and you know, I can't blame anyone for that. Washington State, their turns look so powerful right now. Just Blizzardo. <laughs> That's Spanish for Blizzard. Yes. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Spanish. Pretty sure at some point in our... It's Blizzardo world. <laughs> pretty sure at some point in our relationship you told me that you spoke Spanish. <laughs> no, never. I took four years of French. I just don't remember any of it. Oh. 
Lizardo World takes place, and Oregon suddenly can't attack with their minions. Wee oui, oui. Now I'm speaking your language. <laughs> I speak English. <laughs> I don't know what TJ's talking about. <laughs> And here's the thing for Oregon. Is this the turn they feel like they need to play this Dr. Boom? You know, again, this is a card you oftentimes want to save. I like that they're instantly going for the Cog Hammer. It shows that they have a pretty pretty good grasp over how this matchup really works and where their key threats need to be aimed. It's a tough decision, decision though, but I no think they, the big thing is they need to get these weapons rolling also. Uh, they want to get value of this Cog Hammer before they're going to have to use this True Silver. I for mean, they sure. do have a lot yeah. of points of heal. If they have a true silver equipped, and they go into a turn where they get Alex Straza, they can anti kill bot refreshment vendor, true silver champion. All of a sudden, they pick up the twenty nine. I mean, it's definitely that's definitely a possibility is to just heal through the damage, but it's going to be a matter of whether or not they can get to that point. And again, Washington State. It, they don't have to really do anything. They just have all the options to keep the board under control, to buy themselves the tempo necessary. They still have Arcane Intellect to keep digging. Hmm. Breeze Mage looks really strong when it's played against Paladin. <laughs> it looks extremely strong when it's played against Paladin. Then you watch it play against Warrior, and you're like, why would anybody ever play this deck? <laughs> Or even against Druid, you're like, oh my gosh, the four sixes are really bad for me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he just has 14 points of burst in hand. I'm dead. The end is coming! Yeah, first Doomsayer is going to come out here. I don't think there's a way to deal with it for uh, Oregon. But their board really isn't that strong. For Washington State, I think I'd still like to see the hero power on the shield, just in case they have an answer for it. The one point of damage is super inconsequential at this point because you have the Alex Strauss in your hand. I even really like the Coin Arcane Intellect too. Just to get that card out of your hand, it's pretty clunky. You're buying back tempo anyway, and you're rolling into an Acolyte turn. You know, this, this looks super strong as well. You know, Oregon's hands are tied. They have to attack and say go. Reporting for duty. That's a bad feeling. Yeah. Washington State, by the way, does have an ice block up currently, um, so they don't have to worry about playing that other one in the hand. The second one is just an extra turn should they need it. Yeah. So the only play here is Acolyte at Pain, but they can't ping it because they could risk overdrawing if they ping it. What um, to they're do? at. What to they can always just couple it with something else, but. Yeah, they're at nine cards right now. So if they play Acolyte and then just ping the slime. They're still at risk of overdrawing. Yeah, they're at risk of overdrawing no matter what. So I think pink face. What to do? What to do? Just pink wow. face. They have so many really crucial cards to left in their deck. They have Burn, they have Archmage Antonitis, um, Emperor Thorsan. So many of these key cards that they can't afford to burn. So yeah, Oregon, great reload here with the Murloc Knight, but it's going to be answered by this Flame Strike. There's not a Murloc in the game that's gonna that's gonna survive that flame strike and the hero power. Not even a second Murloc knight. We have Murloc knights <laughs> here in the studio too. Smiles all around. You can't help but smile when you see a second Murloc knight. It's just yeah. <laughs> it's just so such a great look on the board. Yeah. Especially when you get the the D Murloc knight into Murloc knight and then you hear probably the next turn and it's Murkai into Murkai. I've never seen that happen, and I hope I never see well, it happen. I've had it happen to me. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually not that rare. It's not as rare as shield slamming a Wrath Guard for lethal. Washington State continues to buy themselves time. But Oregon continues to draw minor threats. Here's the thing. This is the last hurrah for them until they want to play that Dr. Boom. Yeah. But Washington State's getting kind of low at this point, so you know maybe it's maybe it's on the table pretty soon. Hmm. So how much damage do they have in their hand right now from 10 mana? Uh, Blood Mage Thalnos plus 16 looks like. Yeah, 16. With plus the hero power. No, they don't have. They don't have room to hero. Power. What have to room do? To hero power. Yeah. What to do? So well, here's the thing. Oregon has to deal with the Alex Straza too. Yeah. 
and they don't have a way to deal with it in their hand. So they can anti kill bot plus refreshment vendor. And then it puts him at 29. This is the situation I was talking about where Alcatraz has played. They can go back up to 29. Kieran Fordering does deal with it. Put your faith in the To light. some effect, yes. But this is a situation that they die in. He's <laughs> playing the Tyrion. It's 17. Oh, they're not dead. It's 7, off. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, they, it is one point of damage off right now. But they can just go for it, I think. Can they? I don't I don't know if you can. You know, hmm. This might just be a blizzard turn. They're counting it. Yeah, they are. They're going to get the bad news. What to do? What to do? Why wow. just blizzard ice barrier? Sure, yeah. There's a lot of strong plays here still. I mean, they're sitting at three, but again, they have an ice block up. They got ice barrier in their hand, and they have a wealth of damage right now, and a second ice block behind it. You know, the clock de is definitely ticking at this point. I wonder... Yeah, they could. They wouldn't be able to pink face though, so they'd still be one off. But it gives another chance to draw into something like an ice lance. Well, if you blizzard, maybe you do pink face. Yeah, but then you're vulnerable to like a true silver champion. You don't want that block popped. They're gonna go for blizzard frostbolt here. It looks like. Okay. Now they're not even gonna frostbolt. They say pop the ice block. Have at it. Wow. Bold moves by uh, Washington State, and Aldor Peacekeeper is going to answer that Alex Straza. Uh-oh. This could be a big turnaround for Oregon. Having that Tyrion into the anti kill bot and taking care of the Alex Straza, that, I mean, that, that Aldor Peacekeeper was the perfect draw. Without that, they were in a bit of trouble here. Second Frostbolt, does that change things? No, it's 25 health. That's way too much to get through. Because Frostbolt actually is less damage than Ice Lance. So they have to sacrifice more. They can actually, mm. they can like Flame Strike Frostbolt face and Ice Lance face. I don't, I don't mind Flame Strike Ice Barrier either. Yeah, because. Just try to protect yourself. Yeah. Because then you know that Oregon's going to attack face to check for, to yeah, check like, for Ice Block and. You're effectively gaining three health. It puts you at six after that. And again, you know what the Paladin's burst damage is. Mm. It's basically nothing right now. Yeah. Well, you know, except for the Ashbringer. F five damage every turn. <laughs> it's not first. That's just on the board. <laughs> yeah, I like this play. And just start chipping away. Sure. Here's the thing. Can they answer the Dr. Boom? No. They can't. All right, so can they kill over two turns? Emperor Thorson, maybe? So Blood Mage. So they have to play Ice Block this turn. Can they kill over two turns with the damage that they have? Well, Anti-Killbot certainly adds a, an interesting dynamic to this board. Ah, but they're at six. Anti-Killbot bring them up to 14. There's more damage than that sitting on the board alone. So they have, with Blood Mage Thalnos, they have seven plus eight. 15 plus 5, hmm. 20 damage. Even with pings, they can't kill over two turns. And that's if Blood Mage Thano survives, which it won't. That, this is a... Uh, Washington State went into what they thought was a good matchup, but Oregon played this really well. Well, this game's still not quite over yet. I mean, I they still have Frost Nova left in their deck. But they need to get to it. Well, look how many cards are left, though. I mean, it's a pretty good chance, I think, to start drawing it. They also have to play Ice Block this time. It's me. definitely true. And this is the last secret ever. We have I don't know, Kev. <laughs> I don't know, Kev. They have to draw. No, they can't. They have to draw into Ice Lance next turn. Well, could Fireball do it? Yes. I mean, refresh, Second. Refreshment Vendor does need to get played in this spot. 
you know, in fear of the damage. They're getting two draws at least. Oh, TJ, that's 15. Oh my goodness. Ref refreshment vendor, they have to play it. They can pop the block with refreshment vendor. Refreshment vendor brings them back up to eight. They're trying oh, to- Oh no, it brings them up to nine. Let me think. Will refreshment vendor Refreshment win? vendor actually makes them pop the block in a better way. <laughs> yeah. Get your final case here. Not if you attack like that, though. That could be the difference in winning and losing this game right now. Frost Nova. I don't think it. No, Frost Nova anti killbot ping. Or Frost Nova anti killbot Frost. Like, there's. I mean, things could happen in this situation now. So that's Accolade of Pain, so Frost Nova's off the table. I, with, if they play anti killbot, they. They're dead to board. They have to play anti killbot Frostbolt and ping off one of the 1-1s. One and then they're still dead to the Consecration. Hmm. Is there any way that they can survive? They would have to remove minions. Just to live. And then the Ashbringer is inevitably going to hit base. I don't know if there's any way that they can live. Yeah, I think they need to draw Frost over this turn. Yeah. Hmm. And even then, would they? Ha I don't think they would have had enough damage. They would have had to ping over two turns. Three turns, actually. No, just two. So they'd have to ping this turn, then ping the next turn, then kill them the following turn. And I don't think it would have been enough. They can save themselves from being dead on board by fire, by frostbolting face and pinging off one of the one ones. It would leave 11 power. Ooh. That's still, I mean, cutting off seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And they can actually kill off the Dr. Boot next turn with a ping and the anti kill bot. Yeah, not, not dead yet. One point of damage off lethal right now. Yeah. I think you consecrate and kill off the anti kill bot just so it can't trade into your Dr. Boom. Here's the thing if they make this play, now Frost Nova can still save them. Oh my goodness. And Washington State still has burn left in the death. They still probably have Pyroblast unless they cut it for something. They need to draw Frost Nova right now. Reporting for duty. Archmage is not oh, good enough. Wow. It's going to be Acolyte Ping. And hope for the best. Acolyte ping into Frost Nova, but then I don't think they can win from that. They're at Please Ice Block. Speak to me. I think you're right. It's not Frost Nova, instead, it's that Emperor Thorson. Oh no. Oregon with timely spells, being very conservative and teching in all the healing they did was enough to fight off against the freeze mage from Washington State. The refreshment vendor. Those funnel cakes made a big difference. They did. They really did. They were dead next turn if they didn't have any heal. Mm. They were at 13 health, with, and Washington State had 15 points of burn. Oregon is going to take this one. Three games to two, and Washington State drops their first match this series, and Oregon moves on to six and zero. Sunglasses guy, we did it. <laughs>